Greg Tech covers are ways to give your machines extra behavior without using any extra block space. Covers are placed by right clicking the item on a face of a machine and they can be removed by using a crowbar. Opening a cover is done by shift right clicking it with an empty hand. If you cannot physically reach the cover, you can shift right click with a screwdriver using the grid that allows you to access all faces of a machine. Voltages are irrelevant when placing covers on machines. So, for example, you can safely put an LV conveyor module on HV machines and vice versa. The conveyor module, when placed on a machine, will transfer items to the block adjacent to the face it's on. You can configure it to import or export items from the machine or item pipe you place it on. To distinguish between export and import mode, you should look at the cover from the perspective of the machine on which you placed it. For example, if you place it on a macerator and set the mode to import, it will automatically input items, while export will eject them. On the other hand, if you place the cover on the pipe adjacent to the machine and set the mode to import, the pipe will automatically get items from the machine output slot. This item has a special interaction with item pipes to enable round robin mode, which equally distributes items from the import inventory between each output inventory. It can also accept item filters, which we will talk about later. The robot arm is a more advanced conveyor module. It lets you transfer items in specific batches at specific rates or keep a certain amount of items stocked in an inventory. You should use conveyor modules when transferring bulk quantities and robot arms when transferring exact quantities. For example, in the recipe for stainless steel dust, the machine will clog with the more common input dust and prevent chrome from being input if a robot arm is not utilized to control the flow of inputs. Direct transfer with no mind for filtering is where the conveyor belt should be utilized. The electric pump, when placed on a machine, will transfer fluid to the block adjacent to the face it's on. You can configure it to import or export fluids. Pumps can accept fluid filters, which we will talk about later. The fluid regulator is sort of the equivalent to a robot arm for fluids. It can transfer fluids, but has two useful modes, supply exact, which will transfer the amount of specified fluid per tick if available, and keep exact, which will make sure the exact amount of fluid in the attached machine is being kept. Every cover mentioned so far can accept filters for items and fluids, which can either whitelist, allow, or blacklist prevent certain items and fluids from importing and exporting. Basic filters only allow direct filtering for specific items and fluids, while advanced filters allow you to set conditions for filtering, including full support for regex expressions and NBT data. Finally, using left or right click, you can configure item filters put in robot arm covers to work with specific item quantities. Ender fluid link covers are Greg Tech's ender tanks. Each cover sends their fluids through a frequency defined by an 8 digit hex code, 0 to 9, then A to F for each digit. That gives you 4 billion channels to work with. Ender fluid link covers work as long as the chunk is loaded, regardless of distance or dimension. You can check the list of Enderfluid link frequencies in the terminal. The digital interface cover can show useful things like the status and progress of machines or the amount of fluids stored in a super tank without you needing to open the GUI. It can be upgraded to a wireless digital interface cover in order to link the cover and machine to a central monitor, a highly configurable multi-block structure which is primarily used to keep track of processes around the base. More info can be found in the Greg Tech Community Edition on official wiki and the terminal. Voiding covers can be attached to Greg Tech machines, crates, or drums. They will void stuff you don't need. For machines, it will only void the output slots. The input slots are ignored. You can also attach a filter to them to specify what you want to void. An advanced version of the cover is unlocked at MV tier. It enables voiding above a set threshold, which is great for overflow control. To enable voiding, you have to right-click the cover with a soft mallet. Infinite water covers will supply an unlimited amount of water to the machine it's attached to, at a rate of 16 buckets per second. You can attach this cover to multiple faces to increase the water production rate. This is primarily used for water electrolysis to get unlimited but very slow hydrogen and oxygen production. You can put that cover directly on super tanks too. The shutter module cover will prevent any interactions from the face it's placed on. This means that you can't open the GUI from that face, use pipes on that face, transfer energy in and out of that face, or in any way interact with the machine on the face the shutter module cover is on, except for removing it with a crowbar. You should use shutter modules if you're building in a tight stop to avoid problems with pipes or cables of higher voltage. 
The crafting table cover allows you to right click the face you placed it on to open a Greg Tech Crafting Station GUI. The energy detector, when placed on a face of a machine, will output the amount of energy it has as a redstone signal. This can be useful in conjunction with a machine controller cover to turn off a machine when a battery buffer has X amount of energy, for example. The machine controller allows you to turn a machine on or off with a redstone signal. This is often used to control ABFs, which will continuously consume dust if unregulated. The activity detector will output a redstone signal if the machine is on or if the machine is off, depending on how you set it. The advanced activity detector will output a varying redstone signal based on how much progress a machine has made in a crafting recipe. Last but not least, the item and fluid detectors will send out a redstone signal based on how much of an item or fluid is in the machine's output slots. And that's all you need to know about Greg Tech covers and filters. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't done it yet, subscribe and download Greg Tech from the link in the description. You can also check out more of these guides from the playlist linked in the description.